with cats. As you know, cats can be orange, green or blue, and they can have a variety of ear shapes and many different tail forms. What is the genetic underpinning of this phenotypic variability? So you convert your cats into samples and you send them to a closest core facility. Because you're a good scientist, you're not just going to sequence one cat. You're going to sequence, say, 100 orange, 100 green and 100 blue ones. So you send and you wait. Then your samples come back as a collection of many, 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 many files. What do you do now? A great answer to this existential question is Galaxy. So here we're going to dump all these read files into Galaxy Upload 2. And now we're going to choose from thousands of available tools. Uh, in particular case, we're going to use BWA map because we want to map these reads against the cat genome. And we'll start mapping. And this will generate a BAM dataset. This is fantastic, but you don't do analysis with one tool. In the Galaxy, you can chain multiple tools together with workflows. So here we have a workflow editor, and let's build a workflow. We'll start with um, input datasets. We'll add FASTP for quality control, PWAMM for mapping, SAM tools view for filtering alignments, mark duplicates for removing duplicates, freebase for calling variants, and SNPF for annotating them. And we're going to chain them together in a workflow which would look like this. So this is about 1% of Galaxy functionality. Stay tuned for more.